This morning, as part of our series, The Dish, I am very proud to introduce you to a man on a mission to bring a 100% authentic taste of Mexico to the U.S. His name is Dario Woolos. He was born in the U.S. but raised in Monterey, Mexico, and his goal is to introduce our taste buds to real Mexican tacos while also surrounding us in his restaurants with everything he loves about the culture of where he grew up. And the result is Tacombi. Right now, a series of taquerias in New York, Miami, and Washington, D.C., and plans now to open dozens more from coast to coast. Uh, it's nice to be back in here. Yeah, it feels yeah. okay. Yeah. There's a good reason this old VW bus is parked in the middle of a New York City restaurant. So the tacos would come over the top to people here? Yep, we'd press the tortillas right here, and then we'd put them on the griddle. The bus used to be the restaurant. Right, cut open the combi, like basically cut the roof off it, right? So I could peel it back so you could stand up inside. But so you cut it with what? Like a metal saw or shears or what? You know, those circular metal saws. I uh, just got on top of the bus and just cut right through it. <laughs> so you only get one shot at that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do, you get one shot. Puro pico de gallo. Dario Woolos has turned that shot into a gathering empire of taquerias, making Tacombi one of the fastest growing restaurants in America, all with a mission of sharing Mexican food and culture. And it started when he was just another 20-something working for an internet startup, looking for the comforts of home. There was a taqueria in Boston, and I remember I would go to it, and it, it just it wasn't hitting that spot. Uh, then, then this company asked me to, to open up the London office, and, and I go over there, and, and there was no Mexican food in London. I, I started talking about it a lot with my friends. One of them said, Darío, you should, you should start your business here in Mexico. He's like, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. You've been talking about maybe opening it up in London, and maybe it's better you lose all your money here. And I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> The name Tacombi is a mashup of the words taco and combi, meaning bus. It brought together these two things that are common all over Mexico, ubiquitous. Every person in Mexico has at some point ridden in a combi, you know, a VW bus. VW bus, yeah. And, and tacos, you know, every street corner city of Mexico has awesome tacos. With the office life behind him, he parked his first Tacombi outside a nightclub in Playa del Carmen. And when travel to Mexico slowed in 2009, he moved his bus to New York City. I can take credit for starting Tacombi, but I can't take credit for what it is today. He now has 15 restaurants open in five cities and hopes to take Tacombi to the rest of America and the world. There's just so much positive intention that goes into delivering a taco. It's so simple, but, but there's just so much behind it. As we learned when we stepped behind the counter with Oscar Hernandez, Dario's first hire at Tacombi, and now the company's master taquero. This is like uh, one of the one of our most popular tacos in Tacombi. Hernandez showed us the Tacombi version of the famous Baja fish taco. We use a uh, Atlantic cut. It's uh, flaky, but it doesn't break when you fry it. And then we also uh, dip it in uh, beer butter. The batter is made from Mexican beer, and when it comes out of the fryer... It's a little tangy, spicy. It's topped with a sauce made from Mexican chilies. And to keep it crispy, not salsa, but pickled veggies. It's part of my daily diet. Mm. 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 Yes. That's a perfect description. Wow, so okay. good. When people ask you, like, how's that taco? And you say that, mm, 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 mm. that's it. How do people screw this up? Something that I will definitely not recommend is go to the supermarket and pick up one of those bags that says Mexican cheese blend and add it to this taco. I mean, they definitely. Why? Do. Why? What's wrong with the Mexican cheese blend? Uh, the Mexican cheese blend that I normally find on the supermarkets, I don't know what part of Mexico is that coming from. <laughs> How much experimentation went into this as I take the last delicious bite? Well, there's been many, many thousands of, yeah. of tries at this. One of the things that we've learned over the years is how important the tortilla is. So important, in fact, that when he couldn't find the quality of tortilla he was looking for in New York, he started making his own. So no one's ever called you the Willy Wonka of corn? Not yet, you're the first. Okay. Inside a shiny new factory along the Brooklyn waterfront, he showed us the process of turning bags of corn 
into bags of corn tortillas. We're making 150,000 tortillas a day. 150,000? Yeah. And you can see when they come out, some of them, see how they, they fluff? Yeah. Right, and that's what makes a really good tortilla. You know what I love, actually, there's like little imperfections, right? Everyone is a little different, just like if you're making it in a home kitchen. Totally, pick your, pick your tortilla. I love it. So. Oh. A lot of people in Mexico, when you get tortillas on the table, yeah. you roll it up and you'll dip it in your soup. Uh, or yeah. you, you're kind of like the way uh, Americans eat bread, right? Mm. His Vista Hermosa chips and tortillas now ship out to grocery stores nationwide. And Shake Shack founder Danny Meyer has invested millions in a plan to eventually build Tacombe restaurants all across America. But Wolo says success for him is defined by more than just sales. You've been doing this for how many years now? Tacombe overall is overall. 17 years now. And it came from a place of love. You still love it? Yeah, totally, totally. It, it, it takes me back to growing up in Mexico. Uh, it takes me to, back to where I started Tacombe. When I, when I was in Playa del Carmen, I used to go buy my tortillas at a local tortilleria. And you know, you step into these tortillerias and just like we did now, you have that smell yeah. of the fresh corn being ground and then cooked. It's, it's pretty special. So you're thousands of miles away from home, but in another way closer than ever. Yes, yeah, it's pretty cool. Dude, I don't know. I can smell so it coming through the that. screen. Yeah. I told you, I'm going home today, stopping by at Tacombe. You should stop by at Tacombe because, you know, you, I mean, someone might say, oh, you know, he's trying to sell his product. Of course, he's going to say it's authentic. Well, here is a fact check on that. Uh, so Daisy Perez, who helped put this piece together, uh, someone on my team, her, her mother is from Mexico. Daisy, correct me if I'm wrong on this. We brought home the tortillas. She smelled them, said it brought her back to childhood and ate the entire bag, made Daisy nothing. Oh. <laughs> Didn't cook a thing for her. Uh, so you so, try one of these yeah, so there's a commitment to authenticity, and it is real. Mm. These are so yeah. good. And it's, it's tasty. Dig in. Mm -hmm. mm. So the chips are actually made from awesome. the fried tortillas. Okay. They're not cut separately into little triangles. They're made into circles, and then they become triangles. And another point on the authenticity, this is hilarious. So initially, he was so committed to it that he was like, we're not selling guacamole. They don't do that in Mexico. And the taquerias <laughs> don't have guacamole. We're going to be authentic. And... Basically, Americans revolted. They were like, everybody who came in was like, you give me the, the I want the guac. Right. I want the can, guac. Does these, they sell the salsa as well? Uh, right. I don't know. They don't sell salsa. But you can get this in a grocery store, Whole Foods. Uh, I went home with well, you multiple just go to bags. One. There's one yeah. near my place on the Upper West Side, just opened about a year ago. It is awesome. Bottom line, at this point, uh, there's one coming at just about every corner. <laughs> it's coming to your neck of the woods soon. Chips. Yeah, you bet. So good. Thank Enjoy. You. Um, All right.